YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Today, we are revisiting a gun we've done some upgrades to. It's actually one of the channel's favorite guns. It's the AKV-9 from Palmetto State Armory. So if you're not familiar with this platform, I would definitely recommend checking out our first video on the 8KV linked up here in order to get the specs and kind of how it came to be. Okay, so what have we upgraded? Well, let's start with the fact that it's no longer a pistol. Uh, I electronically filed my Form 1 to manufacture an SBR with the ATF, and it actually got back to me in exactly 20 days. Uh, E-files have been extremely quick, so I've kind of been on an SBR kick lately. Anyway, since we've made it into an SBR, uh, we replaced the SBA3 brace with a Magpul SLK stock, which in my opinion is a perfect setup since the stock sits a little lower than the Picatinny rail. Uh, I'm actually not a fan of the SLK stock on my AR platforms because of how small it is. It tends to slip off my shoulder pocket uh, when firing due to its size. Since it's slightly lower with an AK platform, it works perfectly and in my opinion it finishes off the minimalist aesthetic very nicely. We also changed out the handguard from a Magpul MOE to an SLR Rifleworks M-Lock handguard. In addition to that, we added one of their M-Lock barricade hand stops, which serves nicely as a reference point for your support hand when using the rifle. I also wanted to change out the optics, so I reached out to Holosun and did some product trade with those guys. Um, I actually ended up picking up their new HE510C Green Elite model. Ooh, let me tell you, this thing is very solid. It's very sturdy and robust. It's got a cutie lever. It has an adjustable reticle that goes from a 2 MOA dot to a 65 MOA ring, or both the ring and the 2 MOA dot in a very bright and crisp green reticle. And it's all protected by a titanium hood. As you saw in the B-roll earlier, I also removed the muzzle device because we added the rugged Obsidian 9 suppressor to the build. This was ridiculously quiet, like stupid quiet. We were shooting 147 grain 9mm from Ventura Munitions and I can definitely say that this was very easy on the ears. Moving along, you'll also see a new weapon light on the AKV. I went with the Streamlight ProTac 1 setup. For $100 on Amazon, you'll get this compact light with the pressure pad and the 350 lumen model. You can spend a little more and get the 1000 lumen model, but I wanted to keep this build nice and compact, so I went with a smaller light. And because I know you all will ask, I mounted it using the Polymer Magpul 45 degree mount, which you can also get on Amazon for about $17. Now you may remember from our initial AKV video that I changed out the trigger to an ALG AK trigger. That thing is still awesome and is still in the gun, plus it makes for some awesome bump fire fun. So at the time of this video, we have a little over 5,000 rounds for the AKV and I'm happy to report she is still running flawlessly. I did have one small issue with the bolt catch as it lost spring tension, but it was a simple fix. Apparently the tension screw can come loose, but it is easily remedied by tightening it back up. I reached out to Palmetto and they immediately set up an RMA to get it handled, but that wasn't needed since it was a very easy and minor fix. After tightening down the set screw, the bolt catch slash release worked flawlessly. As you can see, it was an awesome day on the range filming this review. Lots of friends came out and everybody loved shooting the AKV, especially suppressed. Big thanks to Mike of Ventura Munitions for coming out so we could use my suppressor since it's still in ATF jail. Also, big thanks to John, Chris, Dez, and Annie for shooting with us in this review. The more people we can get in these reviews, I really enjoy because it allows other people to see that the platforms we're running can be run by anybody. So thanks guys, I appreciate it. As you guys know, I like to keep things short and sweet, so that's it for our revisit to the AKV-9 from Palmetto State Armory. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up down below. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel as we post new videos every week. If you'd like to support our content, please consider checking out our Patreon link down below. Our Patreon supporters get first access to new content, gear discounts, and giveaways. Because of them, we're able to film these videos for everyone, so big thank you to all of you on the Patreon squad. Thanks again for checking out the video, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure I hit though, there you go.